Okay, so last night was the COD showdown, the Call of Duty showdown, which was the event taking place for the Extra Life for Kids charity. And as you guys know, I was lucky enough to take part. And I wanted to give you a bit of a lowdown on the highs, the lows, and the sidewinders that, <laughs> that kind of came with it. So yeah, it was, um, it was a long night. And basically, I didn't really think I was going to make it back in time because I was working. And I had a few problems at work. And it was like, oh no, you know, I'm not going to make it back. Because obviously, American time is totally different to our time. It'll be five hours ahead. And I sort of misread it. I don't understand. Well, I didn't understand this whole EST and GMTV. Uh, sorry, GMT difference, not GMTV. <laughs> that's a that's a channel we get over here so yeah i don't understand the whole gmt difference i do now i've literally drummed it into my head because i was told it was going to start at some time which literally meant it was going to start at 4 p.m our time and obviously you know when i looked at it it was like oh crap i'm not going to make it back but it was a little bit late the stream started late i managed to get back in time i added uh gem pub stumper on xbox live i got the things downloaded on call of duty ghost the new maps which um i'm particularly not impressed with but <laughs> um i wasn't sure if we were going to be playing those and everything went ahead now our match was the second match and i dropped into the second match elite shot was my team captain and straight away when i was listening to all the chat i thought oh crap I'm the only Englishman in here, and we were playing on an American host. Now, <laughs> playing on an American host is bad enough in Call of Duty Ghost Black Ops 2, any card. But when you're playing on an American host, and you're playing against players who know their stuff, you know, professionals and YouTubers who basically built their reputation on the fact that they can actually, you know, they can go out there and they can stomp, you know, pub stompers, pros. It was really hard. I mean, it was exceptionally hard. The first game we played was Strike Zone. Uh, sorry, it was domination on strike zone. And I think I went 16 for 22, which was really difficult to deal with because every time I had a one-on-one, -on -one, I lost. It was as simple as that. I could not win a single one-on-one. -on -one. I think all 16 kills I got was where people just had their back to me. Um, if they faced me, it was game over. So I was always felt like I was a second behind. I'm not making an excuse here. This is legitimately fucking genuine. Um, the connection was terrible anyway. You know, there was so much lag. Um, some of the people who were watching me were saying, man, it was like you were standing still. It was just so bad. But, um, but yeah, I found it quite hard to deal with. But I capped a lot of flags, and I'd like to think I contributed quite well to winning that domination game. And then we moved over into Search and Destroy, and that was where things went horribly wrong for me. I went one for eight. Um, I managed to get the first blood in the first round, which I was pleased with. But the guy who came towards me, it was actually the only one-on-one -on -one gunfight I won. And I think he was completely unaware that I was in front of him anyway. And he took so many of my honey badger bullets. It was insane. You know, it was like normally Call of Duty Ghost, it's more like 25% health. This was like it was Black Ops 2 hit detection. So I had a lot to put him down and then I kind of got sniped from across the map. Everybody was running thermals, which was really frustrating. And, um, you know, I, I, wasn't running the, uh, I wasn't running the class to kind of counter that, which is blind, is it blind eye or recon, something like that. So, yeah, it was, um, you know, that was really frustrating and I kind of, you know, if you, if you guys could have heard me live, it would have been brilliant because you would have loved it because it's the kind of thing you love when I'm absolutely losing my temper. And, uh, you know, the guys who were in the lobby, like I say, they're all Americans, they were just laughing at me saying, we've set up a swear box and you're about $100 in because I was just like, man, I don't fucking believe I've got killed again. You know, I couldn't move anywhere. These guys were just targeting me and killing me with one bullet. It was horrible. It was just, it was really, really unplayable. So, anyway, after that, we won the round anyway which was good and we won the uh you know we moved into the next section and there was sort of like a three to four hour gap between the next game because obviously you only used me blade and a few other people were playing so in between that i decided because i hadn't had time before i put a video up on my channel as you saw yesterday some of you saw some of you didn't watch it because you weren't really interested that's fair enough but um i put a video up to promote the uh, event that was happening and said please come along and support it now when i spoke to the um when i spoke to the guy who was running it i said when is the next game i scoped him and said when's the next game happening and he said it's going to be six o'clock est 6 p.m est which to me is 11 p.m but he did say it probably run a little bit later because of the stream delays and things like that so that to me was between 11 to 11 30. Now, I went ahead and I did this video and I kind of went away and come back and I thought I'm going to have a little practice on Ghost and I'm going to try and figure out which setups are working better. Obviously, people are playing with MLG rules. There was a lot of limitations on what you could use. So I tried a few classes out and things. And then all of a, all of a sudden, I was kind of checking to my left. This was about 10 to 10 or, you know, quarter to 10 on the evening for me. And I was getting messages saying, where are you, dude? Where are you? Why aren't you in the game? 
And I was like messaging back saying, I don't, I don't get it, I haven't had an invite. And unfortunately, the game had already started. It must have started about half nine on the evening. So it was basically about two hours, well, you know, an hour and a half to two hours earlier is what I was expecting. And I was really pissed off about that. And I got replaced by a guy called Benny Central, a lot of you guys might know him. And I was fuming, you know, and I, I kind of went ballistic at Jen Stomper and I was saying, look, I've just put a fucking video up promoting this and telling people to come along and I'm not even in there, which is embarrassing. And he was like, no, sorry about that. So he got me in. I caught the very tail end of the domination game. I managed to get a couple of kills, cap one flag with about two minutes to go. So I was happy with that. Then it was straight back into search and destroy, which was, you know, oh, I did a lot better than the first time. But man, it's like I say, the connection in card is fucking awful. I just wish to God they would bring dedicated servers in because it just wouldn't be so bad. You know, it wouldn't be nowhere near as bad. But the weird thing is, you know, there's there's guys like this. What makes me think sometimes it's like excuses, and I know it isn't. But there's guys like Benny Central, who's from England, and there's guys like Quicker Than You, who lives up in Edinburgh, and they weren't doing too bad. You know, there was there was a point where Benny Central walked into a room. I mowed down Benny Central twice on the uh, search and destroy coming through the same route that he seemed to take a couple of times. So I thought I was kind of prepared for him. And at one point I was hard scoping the corner. I thought I can hear him coming. He's coming around the corner. And he somehow managed to do this thing where he didn't just come forward. He walked forward. He walked to the left. He did a jump shot, a drop shot and ran away. And I couldn't even see him do it. It happened that quick. And um, my controller went across the room, unfortunately. I broke a controller. And straight after, I heard Elite Shot, who was my team captain, who's an exceptionally good player. The same thing happened to him. He was like, man, what the fuck? The lag that's just pushed Benny Central through and killed me was just unbelievable. I didn't see him. And, you know, there was a lot of things going on during the game. There was, like, one of our guys was climbing a ladder and he got, he got lagged out, which the lag pushed him off the ladder and then he got killed. And we just lost, you know, and it was really unfortunate and I kind of came out of it with a real sense of disappointment. And it's, it's frustrating because, you know, I know it's all for charity and I was really happy to, you know, contribute towards the charity. But when you kind of pride yourself on being a half-decent player and you just get smoked continuously, I get tired of making excuses. And, you know, the gameplay in the background, the gameplay you guys see... You know, it's, it's obvious I'm capable. I wouldn't say I'm brilliant, but I'm capable. And unfortunately, I was just shown to be a really weak chink in the chain. And that was quite embarrassing. But, you know, like I say, we got knocked out. And a lot of people came over and supported me. I could see my name popping up a lot in the chat. And I was really happy that you guys came and supported it. Those of you who did come along. The Apoch Army was strong in full force. Unfortunately, I was just wasn't there for you because of, we lost the game. Sorry about that. But yeah, so that was that. You know, it was a good night in the sense that we raised quite a lot of money for charity. I'm not sure what the end result was as far as raising concern. I don't even know who won because I literally haven't long got up because I feel like shit. But there was a lot of money raised and it was it was all for a good cause and that's the main thing. So hopefully I can come away, lick my wounds and um, try to sustain some kind of, I don't know, self-respect and hopefully do better in the, uh, in the gaming world because I literally felt like quitting last night. I thought I can't match up. But yeah, that's it. So again, thanks for coming along and supporting. I really appreciate it and I will see you on the next video. Take care guys. Apocalypse done.